Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to try to help you fix a problem you might be having with your 2.2 liter Ecotec four cylinder that might be in like a bunch of different GM vehicles. I know it's in the L200, the Saturn Ion, which is what this is. It's in the Cobalt. I think the Saturn View has it too. So this is a 2003 Saturn Ion and this is, it had a misfire. So when I first bought it, it had a misfire and a check engine light, and the guy said it had a random misfire, so P300. And it was definitely a random misfire, because it wasn't even like a random misfire, like what that code would be setting for. It was like a random misfire, like it would randomly happen. So when you'd start the car, you know, it'd run fine, whatever, it ran like a normal car. It, it didn't misfire, didn't have any of those problems. And I thought, what the heck, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. And so one day I was doing some tests on it, and I went to start it up, and it it started, but it was, you could tell it was, it was something was wrong with it. It was, you know, shaking around, you could feel it bumping around, it was below 400 RPMs, like it was feeling like it wasn't gonna die, or was gonna die, but it never did die. It felt like it was running on two cylinders. So I thought, well, I guess that's where the misfire is. And you know, you start it, it misfires, you shut it off, and you start it back up, and it's fine again. It was just random. It, I don't even know. Like, It never happened on cold starts, though. So I'm figuring it has something to do with heat. You know, like heating something up, making it mess up. But it was just weird, because it, it wasn't consistent, so you couldn't, like make it happen and start it up and really test it so what i did the guy said he replaced he replaced the coil packs and the coil pack module i guess the same thing he replaced the ignition control module which is this little silver box on top of the coil packs which i'll show you and he also replaced like the spark plugs and the spark plug boot or that goes to the coil pack i don't really know what that's called he replaced all that and then he tried other things he replaced like an o2 sensor and eventually he gave up and he took it to the dealership and they said it had a bad catalytic converter which i really don't believe i mean i know that's wrong now but i'm thinking oh yeah i'm sure they're just trying to get money out of him because the catalytic converter is the biggest most expensive start. So I, I definitely knew that wasn't it. It wasn't a clogged catalytic converter because, you know, in the vacuum lines, you can test for vacuum and there's different symptoms you can check. If you rev it up, the vacuum goes down and slowly goes back up, then it's probably clogged. But if it goes down, goes right back up. If it's staying around a certain area, I think 18 uh, mercury or whatever the unit is, then it's probably good. If it's lower than that, it's clogged. There's other symptoms you can do. But I was sure it wasn't clogged because it was random. It didn't consistently happen. That's another reason I knew it wasn't a catalytic converter. I didn't really know what it could be because he already replaced everything that I would have replaced. And so it makes me think, I mean, it must be computer or heat oriented. It has something to do with electronics because it only happens when it's hot. So... I kind of started thinking about stuff. I took the spark plugs out. I blew out the electronics, all the connectors with air with an air compressor. I put dielectric grease on the spark plugs. I took the spark plugs out. I put new ones in. I even took those spark plugs, the old ones, and cleaned them off with a wire brush, see if that might do something. That didn't fix anything. So, and I, I also unplugged the battery because I didn't have a scanner at the time, and I reset the check engine light, and it still did it. So I knew that wasn't it. So I was left with the coil packs or the ignition control module, which is like an electro, it's like a, a circuit board. It's basically a distributor, but it's a circuit. And so I'm looking up a lot of different things, occasional misfire, actually a random misfire when you Nothing nothing comes up for the Saturn Ion, Chevy Cobalt, none of that. I couldn't find that anywhere. So 
And then I found out the ignition control module is really common to go out on these cars with the 2.2. That's a really common problem that those just go out. I read one of somebody who replaced it and they had a problem with a misfire and they had just replaced it 25,000 miles ago and they're like, there's no way that's bad. And that was the problem. It went away. The misfire instantly went away. It never happened again after they replaced that. So I had a friend who had a Chevy Cobalt that was, he was trying to get it sold for parts and it, it had like a problem with the pass lock and it wouldn't start. So I'm like, hey, I mean, I guess I can test that. So I pulled his ignition control module off and his coil pack module off. And first, the first thing I tried was that ignition control module. And I put it in, I kept starting and stopping it, starting and stopping it, and it wouldn't come back. It, the misfire just didn't happen after that. And I'm like, maybe I'm just getting lucky and it's just not doing it. So I left it in for about a week. It never did it again. So I'm thinking, okay, that's probably what it is. So I took it out, I put the other one back in, and it happened again. So I'm like, okay, it must be this ignition control module. And just to make sure, I put in the old one and I put in a new coil pack, and it still did it. So I knew it wasn't coil packs, and I knew it wasn't spark plugs, because I would replaced that before. Well, I gave that back, and I went to the junkyard, because a new ignition control module is like $60. And I was not about to pay that because I don't have that money. I went to the junkyard, and I have a friend who works there. And I got an ignition control module from like an L200 with 100,000 miles on it. Hoping that it wasn't bad. And put it in, and it runs fine. I've had this in for a month. It hasn't done it since. So, if you're having problems with misfires, and you think it might be like your spark plugs or something, fuel, or an even bigger problem, you think you might have a compression problem, the first thing I would do is just go get, buy maybe a new ignition control module or get one from a junkyard and see if that possibly will fix your problem because that is common and that's what my problem was. So I'll show you, it starts up fine, no check engine lights. Runs perfectly fine. So, pop the hood. So, this right here is the coil pack module, and underneath that are all the spark plugs. This is the ignition control module. This silver thing right here. So that was bad. That was the problem. ignition control module goes right on top of the coil pack module or whatever you want to call that. So this is I think Duralast from when he replaced it. It's fairly new. You can tell it's not very dirty. And the connections are all good. It's all clean. No water or anything's been in it. Looks all clean and almost new. And I, I couldn't just believe that this was the problem. It looked so new. And so I have a friend who said, you know, if it is heat oriented, try to heat it up. Try to heat it up with like a heat gun. And maybe you can recreate the problem. So I took this when it was still on the car and I put a heat gun over it and tried to get it hotter than it should be. And it, it did do it. it I stopped and I started back up and the misfire came back right after I'm heating it up. So I think these get hot and they tend to fail because they're not supposed to get hot. They aren't an engine though. I think that's just a poor design flaw from General Motors. But before you try anything like spark plugs, try your ignition control module and that might be your problem. For watching. Uh, Leave a comment if this fixed your problem. I hope you have, hope this video helped you. Uh, thanks.